Cambie Duarte Nursery in Houston, living in Poinsettia Paradise. Hey, Cambie. Seriously, it is poinsettia paradise. It also smells so amazing in this nursery. Now, I was showing you these big ones because it's very difficult to find these, and these are actually three plants. And all of the prices that you see for everything includes tax. Now, they accept cash and check here, and uh, very easy for you to come through and pick up. Although, if you wait too long, it you won't have any <laughs> because they get so many people that come out here and every year I was telling Nita we end up coming here earlier and earlier and earlier because we've come some years where there are just a few plants left now a lot of people will get these as gifts I think it's an excellent gift to give someone but people have trouble keeping them alive so let's go over here to this one right here because you're gonna give us some tips you say the biggest problem is people over water it right yeah. So you want to pick it up, and if it feels heavy, it feels heavy, it has it has water in it. It feels kind of light. You want to either, if you're going to water it with a watering can, you're going to take off the cover, okay, and let it drain. If you don't want to do that, you can put four or five ice cubes, depending on how dry it is, in there, and it'll just gently melt into the soil. Because a lot of people do like to keep this covering on because it's so pretty and yeah, well, festive. It's, it's not hard to take off. You just pop it off and then pop it back on again. Okay. So, but when, if you're watering it, you want to take it off, let it drain, and then put it back on. How are these to do, like on your front porch or something? Will they do well, or they need to be an inside plant? It's more of an inside plant because if it gets very cold, it will just. Black. Okay, so not something that you probably want to not put on your front no. porch. Although, so if you see those, you know, with those influencers trying to show you, that is fake. They probably just brought them back inside. Now, I want to show you all of these two back here because Anita says she starts in January and anywhere she goes, well, no, for the for the pots. Yeah, anywhere she goes, she starts buying these different pots. And she has three ladies here who work here, and they do an excellent job of just making these look so exquisite. And these are great gift ideas, too. And you, how, how many different ones of these do you have? Because all of these pots, every single one looks different. Uh, they make between 12 and 1500 of them. Wow. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. They start first of October. Yeah. That's when you and guys start doing everything here, mm -hmm. too. They continue making them. They're still making them now. Okay. It's called Duarte Nursery. It is here in Houston. Um, they have signs up so you can't miss them. But I do want to encourage you. You don't want to wait too long. Uh, because they will sell out. Remember last year, 60,000. This year, 70,000. They'll probably sell out this year, too. <laughs> they are beautiful. Them. So pretty. And look, there are people there early getting mm -hmm. their flowers. Love it.